customised labels tell us who's going in, statewide fluid power, our phone number and the contact of the person involved, the service fitter. So even if they do walk off site, the customer can identify who we are when we come back. That's the cylinder involved. So the initial damage was caused when the operator made an error in judgment and moved the cylinder when he shouldn't have. That bent the rod, damaged the piston, put metal fines all the way back through the, the system. So the initial thought was a damaged cylinder was all that was going to be the total damage, which this company being very responsible, had a spare there ready to drop in, but the internal damage that was unseen was all the contamination that went through the pipes, through the system, and ultimately damaged the servo valve and the pumps. The key, the key elements in this system are the, the servo valve, which is a Rex, Bosch Rexroth servo valve. One of the benefits of this, it's fairly tolerant as a servo valve. Uh, it, contamination levels are specified as NAS7 or ISO 18, 16, 14, um, which is fairly tolerant for a servo valve. The reason that's been damaged was the all the fine metal that come back from the damaged cylinder has gone through and damaged the valve and they've done three valves in succession, which is expensive in components and expensive in downtime. Yeah, the result and damage of this whole system, there's uh, two pumps on this one on the other side that you can't see, but the servo valve was damaged. We've also pulled off the pump We've had to put a new rotating group in the pump because the, the fine metal absolutely destroyed the rotating group and the, the swash plate. So all that's part of the cost. So there's a, a new pump, three valves and a new cylinder for what potentially could have been a preventable uh, problem. Uh, we're now putting in filtration designed specifically to, to protect the, the uh, servo valve in case of operator error. The operator error was a training issue which the client will now address. So what we're doing here is we're putting in two pressure filters. These have been designed for the maximum flow we expect to get out of the cylinders. Yeah, that's so the two return lines from the cylinder. Two return lines. So we're actually filtering the oil coming out. Not so going in. if the cylinders are damaged like last time, any contamination will be totally caught here. by these. They're both high collapse HIDAC filters. They're both uh, 10 micron, absolute, yep. rated, and being high collapse, once they get full, well, they won't pass oil anymore, and if they're full of rubbish, the contamination won't go any further than this point, okay. which means it protects the servo valve and protects the power unit yeah. of the pump. Yeah. In the early days with this plant, and we've been servicing this for uh, over 15 years, we had a lot of problems with oil contamination. The single biggest improvement we found was the introduction of these HIDAC uh, breathers. These are a 3 micron air breather and we monitor the iso particle count of all the oil here every six months and the introduction of these hundred dollar items improved the oil quality uh, exponentially the, uh, immediately after we installed them. Uh, and for a low cost item these were the single best improvement and given longevity to the hydraulic system as a rule. And the other thing too is what we've done is um, yeah, done the other side of that and all we're doing now is cleaning the oil. Yep, and we're using that uh, unit to clean the oil. Five, five micron and ten micron filter, absolutely. We'll clean the oil down to approximately 17, 14, 13 in about two hours. It's roughly about 300 litres of oil. service that we do at Statewide Hydraulics, we do a particle count before we do the service so that we know what state the oil is in and there's critical parts on this system which need very clean oil which is the servo valve, um, that's probably the most critical of, of them all. Now we need to get the oil clean enough obviously so it doesn't cause any dramas with the servo valve and therefore it'll be clean for the rest of the system. So I'm now doing a particle count test to make sure that the oil is good and the quality and particle count needs to be fairly low so that the uh, servo valve doesn't cop any rubbish in it and, and damage the servo valve. Um, like I said, that's a, a normal part of statewide hydraulic servicing. We'll do a particle count before and after we've done the service. Pump's damaged, now needs to be replaced part of the deal. So the, we've statewide repaired the cylinder the extent of the damage was we needed a new barrel, a new piston, 
a new rod, a new bronze bush, and two new tie rods. So pretty much this cylinder was totally destroyed. The, uh, the main thing which contributed to, and may have been the only issue involved uh, with the destruction of the cylinder was the rod. We've now put in induction hardened chrome bar, which this application should have. Previously, it had a, uh, a mild steel flash chrome bar and inferior quality uh, rod material. That may have been the only reason that this rod bent. It also may have been operator misuse. But we've put it back together with all the right material and the customer now has a spare, hopefully he never needs to use it. So part of our commitment with this company is uh, not only to do the work, but to make sure that they've got all the parts here on time every time. They do a routine service every six months. As you can see, this is the product required for a single plant service. And then up here is a second row of filters and accessories required to do any single function in the plant at, no, at quick notice. So this company is very good to work with. They look after their own place and their own stock and they ask statewide to manage it all for them and we give them nothing but quality service and quality hideout componentry.